Hi everyone, this is Ken on electricalindustrynetwork.com. Today I want to talk a little bit about some breakers that uh, require a certain voltage on your 240 volt three-phase delta connected circuit. The uh, NEC 240.85 has a description of it and I'm going to do a few visuals here and hopefully you'll understand it a little bit more. Now taking an excerpt from the code book, circuit breaker must a uh, circuit breaker marked 12240 is not intended for use on delta connected 240 volt circuit. Now that doesn't mean that you can't use it, and I'll show you in the visual. Uh, 240 volt, 480, 600 volt should be used on such a circuit. Now we're talking circuits, not panels. The slash between the lower and higher value higher voltage ratings in the marking indicates that the breaker has been tested for use on a circuit with a higher voltage between phases so A to B, B to C, C to A and with a lower voltage to ground so that would be A to ground, B to ground, C to ground B to ground on your high leg your stinger leg, your red leg, whatever you want to call it is going to be 208 so let's take a look at the, the diagram here. This particular breaker up here on circuit 2 and 4 needs to be a straight 240 volt. You can't have a 120 slash 240 volt breaker on that. This breaker here on number 7 has to be a 120. Well why would you want a 240? So it's just they come as 120 that's all you can get on a single pole. Same thing, another single pole. Now this single pole here, or this two pole here, can be a 12240 because it's using the A phase and it's using the C phase. So C to ground is 120, A to ground is 120. So you're good with using that breaker there. If we drop down to the uh, 384042, we're utilizing all three phases and most likely that breaker is going to be a 240 volt. I've never seen it's 120 slash 240. Don't even know if they make one. So let's jump back up here to 2 and 4 real quick. So black to ground, A phase to ground would be 120. And then your orange, B phase to ground is going to be 208. So when testing the voltage or using using a two pole breaker on this this has to be a 240 volt because of what it reads in the code book as the voltage has to be equal to that busing equal to that voltage so 120 240 volt would not work in that because they're not they're not rated for that so let's take a look at the breakers itself and in spite of the 22 um, AIC rating there, let's not even worry about that for now. But way down here, it, it will tell you that it's, a two, it's rated for 240 volt. And back over here, it's rated at 12240. The only other visuals that I could tell is the type of screws and our types of lugs that they have here. This particular lug just doesn't seem as heavy duty as this one does and that could be the AIC rating I'm not 100% sure on that but uh, when we went to get the straight 240s um, we couldn't we had to get 22k anyway so this is what I came up with so when you're in the field and um, you run across these three phase panels with that stinger leg in there you got to be really careful one to make sure you got the 240 volt breakers and another thing is you got to watch this because if for some reason you have circuit 2 and 4 and a neutral going out to a piece of equipment you may have uh, circuit 4 feeding something 110 in your uh, piece of equipment if that's the case you definitely don't want that on the the 208 leg because you're going to fry something. So make sure that when you're using that middle leg, that, that high leg, 
that it's running straight on equipment only. So if you uh, run it off of the B or the C and the A phase, you're, you're fine. But what happens is you lose all these spaces for single pole breakers. And that's what brings this all about. You want to be able to utilize as much space as you can in here. So by utilizing these 240 volt breakers, you can use the A and B phase on a piece of equipment. If you have straight 110 volt circuits, outlets, uh, lighting, whatever, um, you're really basically kind of screwed. You can't use that center phase, uh, that, yeah, the center phase there. So just kind of keep that in mind and I can do more on this as, as time allows, but uh, for now, I hope this might uh, help you out a little bit. And next time you go to pop in a, a two pole breaker, you better make damn sure that it's rated for 240 volts or you'll get shot down like I did. And uh, I don't mind admitting my mistakes. So anyway, um, as always, I appreciate you watching. And um, if you like these videos, please subscribe and uh, do a little thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Talk to you later.